and why. All right, I start recording now. Thanks. So examine okay, no problem. this one first, and then we mm. take it from there. All right. Seven, say C. You say C? Sir, I sent you my answer. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Mm -hmm. Sir? Yeah, man, what do you think is the answer for this one? Sir, I'm sending my answer to you, sir. All right. Guys, these are tricky, you know. Don't just examine them first, all right? Excuse me, sir. What are we doing? 21. We are 21. It's to examine the pattern or the diagram. If the pattern should continue, which of the following shapes would complete the diagram? Oh, I oh, I get. Yeah. So examine. Excuse me, sir. Sir, I know the answer. Come on, Jeremiah. I say, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so sir, my my mother gave me a new phone and I texted you. Okay. okay. All random right. Random number. Text. Text. Oh, text two seven. Seven. My answer is. My answer is. Yes, yeah, miss. I, I, I mean, yes, it. sir. I saw it now. Let me save it. So I know it's you. All right. Kyle says A. Let me see in the chat. Yeah, that's what I'm going to check now. Ibert says C. Anya says A. Tanya Green says A. Jeremiah said D, Nika says C, Jenna Farb said A, Aiden says C, Candy said A, Tajani said A, Kevin A says C, Matthew says C, Jenna Farb said A, Abby say C. Oh, Candy is change hers to C now. All right. So, guys, why I'm doing this, I'm, I want the others to join. I want the others to join also. Tejan, Zemini's on? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. No, no, no. So, mine in the chat. All right. So, we could, we could discuss it. Sir, so I changed my answer to C, sir. Why? Sir, I was looking at the pattern, sir. Okay, okay. All right. We could discuss it now, guys. So, first, if you notice what sir? the figure was. Yeah, man, go ahead. Class ends at 12 o'clock? No, uh, guys, I just put 12 o'clock. It depends, it depends. It might not, it might go beyond that, all right? But I won't keep to pass 1 o'clock. And I will give you a break if it go over that, all right? But I had to put that time, so that's why I put 12, but... It's not necessarily 12 o'clock. All right? Okay, sir. Yeah. So we could discuss it now, guys. Yeah. Sir? Yeah, man, go ahead. Are you, are you going to get to it now? Eh? Are we gonna discuss it now? Yeah, man, yeah, man. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So we're gonna discuss it. So first, guys, if you notice, they give you one that is complete. That is the key. This is the key to, to, to find it out, right? So look at it. You have a black dot right here. You see that, guys? Hope everybody noticed that. You, know, you have a triangle. A plain triangle, and then you have another triangle with the hole inside it, blank, right? And then you have a plain triangle, but the dot is to the right now. So they change the dot basically. Everybody see that? Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. All right. All right. So this one now, it have the shape again and it have the hole. So we can basically say this one is equal to this one. I think that's what they're trying to say, right? That's how you guys look at it. That's how I look at it. Okay. And then this one would basically be equivalent to this one. So that means for this one now, we should have basically this one. That's, what, that's how I look at it. I don't know if you guys look at it that way, but that's how I look at it. This and this is the same. Only the shape change, but the something in the middle, that in the middle. The, the dot is to the right, the left, the dot is to the left. So I'm thinking the next one should be this same shape here and the dot to the right. And I'm not seeing none of that here. For the for this one. The only two I see is this one and this one. We can eliminate these guys. Some people choose D, but we can eliminate it. Because remember, you know, you're gonna fit it right here, right? Yes, so I eliminated A and B because I immediately knew they were wrong. Yeah, B and D because B and D look, it's a it's a box thing. The box thing can go here, so so it's the same shape. So we need to decide now if it's A or C. Now this one have the circle thing there, and then this one, this box have it to the to the left. This one have it to the left, right? Yes, sir. This one is the right one. I found it to you. It's correct. So, sir? Sir? I'm not sure. But I don't see this. Everybody need to wait. Let me check. It should be in, man. That's our name. No, I'm here. Morning, sir. Morning, Amelia Bell on? Yes, sir, I'm on. Okay, okay, she's on. All right. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, man, not a problem. Yeah, not a problem. Mm. So, guys, we're going to look at it again because this one is a bit tricky, right? So, these two equivalent to the left. And basically, these are up, these are down. One must be up, one must be down. So this one is already up. So I'm going to go with C. Because this one is down. Yes, sir. I came my answer just in time. Yeah. But I wouldn't choose this one, guys, because guess what? There's none of them with this repeating in the middle. So you'd have two of them in the middle, and it's one supposed to be in the middle. So that would be. I don't have a black dot in it. Eh? Sir, if you see it, Ali, sir. And the dot is black. Yeah. Like, and the dot is black also. All right. So I see the answer, right? Yeah, man. See, but mm. A would have been a bit close. But guys, you could have eliminated B from the get-go. I'm surprised the number of persons that says D. So guys, when you get these in the exam, because they will give you probably two of these, ensure that you look at it carefully. Study. Notice what they say? They say examine the diagram below as the shapes below for a certain pattern. So it has to be consistent. All right? And then yes, there's no way you could have this two in this line because Kelly and you're marking on the screen because it it um they already have one of this in this in this one that they completed they did not have two of them just one so that is what we have to do all right so it should have been C so let me just clear up this let me change this to black guys I like black I just think I just like black
So guys, don't take these for granted, please. All right, this, this one says now, examine the pattern below. And, and parents are telling me that you guys have a problem with patterns. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to get some more patterns. And we do an entire class on patterns. We cannot be weak on them because sometimes they bring two of them, sometimes one. All right? But it's coming. Sir, sir. Yeah, man. So when does December online class finish? Never. It never ends, guys. Never? <laughs> anyway, guys, you don't want to stray away, away from the point, no? All right? So it says examine the numbers below and determine which items comes next in the sequence to replace the question mark. So guys, notice they said the word examine. So when they say examine, you're going to look carefully at these numbers and see how they get from 1 to 3, what they did to get from 3 to 7, what they did to get from 7 to 3, and so on and so on. And then know you do that. Sir, I get it. I understand it most. Yeah. yeah understand All right. It. So WhatsApp me and let me see what you guys get. Mm -hmm. We're not rushing you now, guys. We're not rushing. Sir, can I send you my answer to the chat? But wouldn't you want to send me the answer first? Sure. So the answer is um forty three. Sir, these are odd numbers. Yes, sir, these are odd numbers. Yeah, but all the answers are also odd numbers, so we can just use that to determine it, right? So, 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 so should I call names and you tell me the answer or you guys just going to go straight to it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Call names. Matthew, yes, sir. what you said, Matthew? What's for yours? Yes, sir. A, 41. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For Kayla, too. Yes, sir. All right. What about Kayla Barry? What do you think is the answer? I said D. D? All right. Queen Lisa. Go ahead. Sir, I said D. B. I said B. Okay. B or D? B. Sir, I said B, sir. B as in boy. Okay, sir, boy. 43. D. D. Chanel. What you say, D. Chanel? Gianna Forbes. Guys, don't be shy. It's a learning class. Jeremiah, what you say? So I'm not finished. All right, all right. Kayla Evans, what you say? London. Sir, 41. A. London, I what you say? Sir, I say B. B? All right, as in back. Sir, I say B as in basketball. Okay, what about Aiden Murray? I'm not seeing Aiden. Miss Father, 41. Excuse me, sir. Come on, go ahead. Can I explain to you after when everyone, everyone's reading it and say why I think it's B? All right. <laughs> Somebody might scratch it. Sir, sir, basically, I just adding two. Sir, I asked you to explain. Incorrect, bro. That's incorrect. All right, go ahead, Ian. Tell us all you got your answer. Okay, sir. So basically, one plus two, that equals to three, because they're basically adding up by easy numbers. So one plus two, that equals to three. Three plus four, that equals to seven. Seven plus six, that equals to 13. And 13 plus 8, that equals to 21. 21 plus 10, that equals to 31. And 31 plus 12, that equals to 43. I'm going to agree with him, guys. 
Yes, sir. I agree yes, with you. Each time they added the added that extra. <laughs> Sir, I got the correct. Sir, I got the correct. Sir, I got the correct. Yeah, yeah, man. Good sir, job. Good job. Sir, I got the correct as well. Yeah. No, man, it's fine. Guys. You have to say if you get the correct car. I, I, I'm not. What I'm saying, guys, each time they added an extra two, the person should not be doing it, right? Each time they add to your examine and see if it doesn't work for all of them, that means that is not the rule. So you have to try another rule. So the rule is to add an extra two to eight each time. So you add the number plus the two. So it's like X plus two each time you're doing that. All right, good job. I'm not sure what this one is saying. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it, guys. I see it. I see it. All right. It is saying if circle and box represent this, that means this is equal to this. Yeah. Then what would O represent? Are the circles? Yeah, this one is easy, guys. So my answer is C. Yeah, correct. I'm so I'm so 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 give you this, but guys, yes, I'm so the box is yeah, because look, if you have this, the square, right? And you still the have the square, that means the circle would be this, these two. Because remember, you know, they said this and this is equal. That's what they mean when they say this the circle and the square represent this. They mean that both of them are equal. So, so yeah. Oh, I got this. It is because the circle is not shaded and the box is shaded. So I know that it was that. So. That's how you look at it. It's not necessarily yeah. that, though. Because look, they are saying that these two are equal. That's what they mean when they say represent, right? If this the circle and the square represent two rectangles and a square, that means you could just take out this because these are equal. The square does what is square, right? So if the circle is missing and these are equal, that means these two make one circle, basically. All right? So don't just look at it as shaded alone. Look at it as, as say, both of them add up to one circle. All right, this one says, examine the first two rows in the pattern below to determine the number that will replace the question mark. Two. Yeah. So you don't want to examine it first? Four. Four. Yes. Four. Yes. They all put the answer the button. Excuse me, sir. Can you please explain to me about this one? You don't want to try first? Sir, I don't understand it. So I'm I'm looking at it, sir, but I don't see the all answer. Right. I know, man. I know. It's fine. But look at it closely. Look at all of them. Guys, I don't want you to focus on just one. All three of them, right? It's not just one, but all three. And see if you can find a pattern. You that's that's the challenge. You, know? them. you can see. observe. And say, okay, could it be this? And you can do trial and error. All right? Don't but don't give up and say, well, sir, we don't know that one year, you know. No, sir. That no make no sense. Try. So can I see the answer? Can I see the rest of the answers? Candice, you want to explain our Juvene? Which one are you? No, sir. Juvene, you want to take it on? No, sir. I can't see the other answers. I can't see C and D. Oh, oh, well done. Because I zoom it up, because I want you guys. It's zero, two, four, and eight. Sir, it says C. Don't mark on it, Zeminis. Rub it out, Buck. Yeah, man. You can talk, guys. Don't mark on it. You say C, which sir, is D, four. sir. D, D, D sir. Sir, my answer is D. As in eight. Yes, sir. Eight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at it closely. 
What did you say, sir? C as in fork? Yeah. Fork? What you saw beside C? Oh, I thought you said C as in fork. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no one. Yeah. All right. Oh, I got you. Guys, we have to, we have to look through a little bit on this. You know? Let me tell you why. Um, you, you have to observe it carefully, right? Think about it, guys. If you have all of these, right? You have one, two, three, one, two, three. Would it be more that could this one be more than this one? Because sorry, many... sorry, sorry, let me tell you this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought you were asking. I thought you were No, I'm saying, could this one, this one here, be more than this one up here, or close to it, based on the number of lines and everything? No. It would be C, though, guys. Look at it. It's the intersection they count, you know. Look, where the lines meet. Oh, let me get it to me. Just come on. Okay, my name is C. I, I say C to guys. Let me say why. Kyle said D, Kelly and the intersection. Four, sir. Four, sir. Look on the line. Yeah, it's the intersection. You see them? Let me use a different color. You see where the lines meet, guys? It's actually there, you know? So look. If you, if you count all the intersections, remember, say, guys, you can do a little trial and error. My, my. Sir, my internet is getting kicked out of me. It's your internet, man. It's not our fault, right? So you see that, guys? This confirm it. It's only one intersection. It couldn't be the number of sticks, right? Because they have two sticks here, so to speak. Let me see how many sticks were here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Even this is the six sticks. So that means you're supposed to count the intersection. So it would have been four. All right. So guys, just observe them carefully, man. Don't just quick to answer. These are these are um pretty tricky. So take your time and do it, all right? All right, let's look at this one. And I want you guys to write this down. He said, how many times does it digit four occur between one to three? So write that down and watch it. Yeah, how many times does it digit four occur between one to three? So write that down and then count them. That's the easiest way to do this one. I got that answer before. You can WhatsApp me. Don't call it out. Just WhatsApp me, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Nika, I agree. Oh, I have my answer, sir. I have my answer, dog. WhatsApp me. WhatsApp me. Okay, sir. Yeah. Sir, I sent you. Sir, sir this one's in, 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 in the chat. Yeah, I saw it, Jeremiah. I saw it. You sure you sir, this one is in the chat, Jeremiah. Sir. Yeah, man, I'm looking in the chat. German is as yours, Iber. Guys, you have to put the number here because guess what? When I just put the letter alone, 
I'm not I'm not gonna show which number you're talking. Thanks, Kyle. So guys, put the number beside it, like 25. If you think it's 25A, 25B, 25C, put it beside it. Because what happened? Because there are so many in the chat. When I scroll up, I'm just gonna see numbers or letters like A, B, and I'm not gonna show which number you're talking. So just do it like this. If I think 25 is A, you put 25 A. If I think 25 is B, you put 25 B. So put the number. Yeah, I call Zimanis did it. All right. Oh, you guys can't see it though. It's a direct message. Thanks, guys. Keep sending them. All right. I'm, 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 so I'm, thank you, man. Yeah, man. I'm curious to, oh, to see how you guys think, you know. Because, guys, this part of it is really more critical thinking. So you can you can know the curriculum base. But Hold on, part... so I'm going to resend my answer. The first one I sent to you directly, the chat was wrong. <laughs> All right. Why is somebody laughing? Machu. Yeah, man. All right. Send them, guys. I'm looking at them. Because I want to see how well you guys are doing with them. Thanks, Jeremiah. Thanks, Sanchia. Not Sanchia, Landa. Landa, why have the question mark beside you? <laughs> you asked me, Landa, are you telling me? Which one is it? You're supposed like to you. answer, you know, not ask. Sorry, sir, I accidentally put the wrong answer the first time. Okay, okay. All right. I'm so I'm looking so at I my answer to you, what's up? Yeah, thanks. I'm looking at them, man. I'm looking at all of them. Thanks, Machu. I'll get yours. Kaylee and so I, I get... sent my answer to you in the chat. In yeah, directly to you. All right. Tejani, I get yours too. Um, Mia, I got yours. I got everybody, guys. Abby, I got yours too. Somebody asks, when are we going to play Kau? Guys, um, probably January. Because I'm really cram up, guys. I'm cram up so much. Because a number of persons call me for, for CXC classes. Because they have exam January. But I'm going to I'm going to be it over the holiday. But if you guys party and have fun, I will I will definitely create some, all right? So it's my correct question to you watch stuff. Mr. Brady don't know the answer yet, guys. We're gonna look at it, we're gonna discuss it now. That's why I just say I got it. All right. So guys, this was supposed to be easy. Let's be honest. This is easy. Let us look at it. Some persons chose five. I know it cannot be five. I don't know what number it is, but it cannot be five, guys. Sir, I know the number. Sir. All right. Let us look at it. So guys, he said, how many times does the digit four? That means you can have four, right? Once four in the digit in the number, it is considered. What will be the next number? 14. 14. 14. That is it. And then the next number it's 24. Yeah. And, and then 34. And then 64. Like, and then 41. 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 46, 47, 48, 41, 47, 48, 49. That's all. I don't hear what guys say 40. Guys, this 40? is what I expected you guys to do, you know. Remember, you know, guys. Sir, you know what I did, sir? How many? Yeah, man, go ahead. Sir, so what I did, sir, I knew five numbers had four in there before we hit 44. So I knew four, 40, 24, and 34. But then I knew four, 40, those parts have 10. 10 um double digit numbers so i just add 10 to 5 and that's why i got 15. well you sure it's 15 right uh yes sir i, I think I all right let us see some persons got 14 and i, I think i know why if, 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 if 15 is correct i think i know why some persons got um 14 but let us check so it's a between that means that is where we stop so let's count the numbers. The number, of, the number of times the digit four occurs. Remember, you know, guys, it said the number, the digit. So look at it. Let's count. 
So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. You see that? Ten, because this is two times the digit four occurs. So the person that said 14, I think you only count this once. So we had 10 now, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Guys, do not give away your marks in the exam. Write them out. That's why I say for this class, ensure you have your, your book and something. Write them down, guys. I want this to do it just like regular class. Write them down. All right? But it couldn't be five, guys. Let's be realistic. Oh, oh, remember in the 40s, you have 41, 42, 43. I was a bit surprised with the four. The others not so bad, but with five and six, we could eliminate those immediately. So guys, write them down. Whenever you get questions like these, so for example, they ask you how many prime numbers or whatever the case may be, ensure so you write them down, please. All right. So yes, London, you are correct. All right, let's go now, guys. Let's go. A number of persons were correct, guys, but that is not the focus now to really call out like what we normally do in class. But good job. All right, this one now, 26. Read it and, and then answer it, please. He said, what's up, Maria? The clues in the box below describe four-digit number, a four-digit number, Use it to answer item 26. The first digit is one third of the second digit. The third digit is the sum of the first two digits. And the last two digits is three times the second digit. I remember, just put, if you put in an answer in the chat, just put 26 first and then the letter. You don't have to write out all the numbers. Just 26, if you think is D, you put 26 D. If you think it's C, 26 C. But put it so I can identify, so I don't mix up the answer that they gave for 25 with it. Yeah, can this. Yeah, very good. All right. So go ahead, guys, and answer that one. But guys, I see, I see, I see, I see that we, we're going to have to do this regularly, though. I'm not sure what type of phone you have. Probably turn it sideways. Sir, oh, I sent my direct message to you in the chat. I think that would be, yeah, yeah. What is one question at a time, you know? Hear me? Guys, you see, if you're not seeing all of it, it's just one question at a time, all right? So I deliberately kind of zoom in on it. So it's one question at a time. So we're focusing on 26 now. If you're not seeing everything, just turn it sideways. All right, guys, I'm going to check um, them now. Where, where should I put the answer? In the chat or WhatsApp. OK. Please put the number beside it. Thanks so Sir, much. Sir, I put you in the chat. All right, all right. All right, Mona, I got yours. Guys, you know what I'm, I'm picking up. We're going to do a lot of Six. Sir, is my in the Sir, is Can I explain this? All right, we will give you a chance. Aiden, thanks so much. Nika, thanks. What's up? Come on, I'm getting them, guys. Hey, look in the I chat for mine. Right, let me check the chat. Guys, I'm checking everything. You don't have to tell me, all right? Because I think it's okay. not fun. Yeah. Thanks, Station. I got yours. Gianna Forbes, I got yours. Guys, you're not going to hear me say wrong, or, all right? I'm just observing it. Because that is going to take up a lot of the time. Tell everybody on top. But we're going to explain it. Also. All right, somebody volunteered to explain this one. Oh, they got their answer. 
if somebody else want to do so, if you got a different answer. So if one person explain, I'm not going to say if it's incorrect or correct. But guys, I think we're going to have to do a lot of these. We're not so good at it, guys. We're not so good at it. We're good at the curriculum base, but not this. So I think I'm going to have to. I have the fast papers too, you know. So I'm going to do one of the fast papers today too. Even if it takes the whole day, you guys. All right? We're going to do one. We're not so good at it, guys. Oh, my. No, man. It's, it's 20. I deliberately cut out the English part. I'm going to do that. Oh, um, yeah, those are normally easier. So I'll do those on a later. Guys, we're not so good at this, you know. Absolutely. Oh my God. We have to go practice a lot of it, man. I probably have to go um, teach some free class. Yeah. In a, in a next week. We're not so good at it, guys. Oh my. All right. But keep sending them, though. All right. Um. And make it worse, uh, my teacher has a feed me bunny. <laughs> but I think I think it's not just to do it. Guys, let me tell you something about maths. It's not just to do it a lot of times, you know. It's, a, it's to get the trick behind it. So once I get how it is done, it doesn't matter. It's like, like for 26, I think once you, you get how it is done, that means next time it doesn't matter, you will get it correct. So if you're doing it a lot, but you're not getting the explanation and how it is done, then I think that could be a problem too. But it's good that you're practicing it though, but I think you need direction, like how to approach it. Because that, that's the trick to them. They are very tricky, so you have to do it step by step. All right, so who volunteered to explain? I'm good. Me, me. Bella Barry. All right. Yeah. Explain what I got for your answer, first of all. I got B. B. All right. Explain how you got B. Okay. Only reason or oh, how I got B is because he said the first thing he said the first digit is one third of the second digit, and one third of six is two. All right. So, and then it said the third the third digit is the sum of two. Two the two first digit and I added six and two and I got eight. All right. And then for the last one, it said the last digit is three. Is three times the second digit. Well, that part I didn't really do. I only got. <laughs> you see that, guys? You see that? So what? Let me tell you what happened. So I got. Can I do it? So can I do it? All right, okay, go ahead. Tell, yeah, tell I got D. So, so um, it says the first digit is is one third of the second digit. So what I do, I work from my answers. So one, so, so I pick A. So one is a third of three, and the third digit is the sum of the two first digits. So we can clearly see that three plus one equals to four. And then lastly, it says the last digit is three times the second digit. So to check that, we can see that um, three times three equals nine. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. That's I'm very still going to go through it, guys. I'm guys, let me tell you what happened yeah, to the first right. person. No. Well done, guys. Well done. Let me tell you what happened to the first person, why she got because she checked the first two and it was correct, she did not go to the last one. And I checked one. the second one. And I checked but the third one. I didn't really check the, the not last, last year one. Last year was the same thing, guys. And I have to tell the students, please check every single one. Not because the first one or first two or first three correct. Ensure that every single one is correct. That happened to even adults, guys. Because we can't because it take and that check up, that check up, we just don't bother go to the last one. No, we have to check all of them. There's a reason they give you three clues. All right. So Abby is correct. Good job. So guys, they said the first digit is one third of the second. So you literally take the two numbers and examine them. That is how I want you guys to do it. Right, guys, don't freestyle it. Okay, you're bright, don't freestyle it. 
So you check if one is one third of three. You check it out, right? They say the third digit is the sum of the first two. So what you do? We know say sum mean to add. So we add one and two. You check off them one one. Do not freestyle it, guys. Don't look at it and just read it and say I hit that. And then they said the last digit, which is nine, is three times the second digit. What's the second digit? Three. Three times three is indeed nine. So guys, don't take them for granted. Read them very carefully. So it's actually eight. So it's actually eight. Third two should check the two digits, the two third digits, and it was correct, but the two last digit wasn't correct. Yeah, yeah. So the, two the first, the third digit was correct, but last digit wasn't correct. So this is close because for this one, it would have been six times three, which would have been 18. So that is why it couldn't be this. The first two checks out, but the other one did not. So we have to make ensure that all of them check out, not just one number or two number. It has to be all of them. All right. So you do that and you check them one, one. Nothing is wrong with that. And you see, the, your maths knowledge, if it says sum and so forth, and three times, you know, that is multiplied. All of those important, guys. All right? So we have to know the terminology, like what sum mean, what times mean, what difference mean, what product mean, the quotient, all of those things that we do in regular class. Because the mental ability is not like some topic, topic, you know. You know, like you would do fraction, Ratio, area, permit, it's not like that. It's just some, it, it can be very random, but you're going to use your maths knowledge in order to get patterns like these, drawings, all of those we can expect. And as we said, guys, I will be I will be doing some more for free with you guys because we are not good at it, guys. You are good at the curriculum base, but not this. So my teacher said that it, it, it tests your knowledge or well you in the Yeah, in the yeah it's, it's, it's comprised of everything. Oh, you're seeing patterns, all of those. So it's not really safe. You have to be good at maths, maths, like topic, but you have to, you have to think critically and use your everyday knowledge. Like maths all right. Right, let's read this one. It says, Chris saves $150 in pocket money every week. He has been saving for 40 weeks. He decides to take the entire savings to the bank and exchange it for 500 bills. How many 500 bills does, he, does Chris collect from the bank? Again, work out that one, guys. Get your pen and paper and work it out. Are your pens? Not a problem. Sir, do you have to write it down or should you type this word in? Eh? Don't yeah, want to answer. Guys, I want you to take your time and work it, you know, and interpret what the question is saying. Sir, sir, can I tell you my answer? No, man, what's up, me? I want the others okay. to work out here. What's up, man? Tell me. What the person is saying? Hmm? We have to write down what the question is saying. No, man, you don't have to write out the question. But do the work out. I don't want you guys to freestyle it because that's that's a very common error that persons make. Thanks, Mia. I got yours. That's a very common error that students make, guys. Instead of writing down, they just look at it and say, well, it could be this. I don't want that for my students. I want you guys to work it out. Sir, I sent you my sir, I sent you my answer. All right. Sir, I sent you my saying what's up. All right, thanks. But work it out, guys. All right. You won't hear me say correct or not correct, you know. I'm just gonna mm -hmm. look at them and then I will analyze and see how well they do. Thanks. Yes. Can I explain this one? Yeah, you can. Mia. Okay, sir. Maji. And this, you text me, you know, but you don't put the number beside it, so I'm not sure if it's 25 you're talking. 
Yeah. Yeah. Aiden Murray, put the number beside it also. Please. All right. So I know which one you're talking. Remember, you're going to be texting A, B, C a lot. So how am I going to know which is 25, which is 26, which is 27, and so forth? Guys, next week, I'm going to keep a free class and every one of you guys come. Because we're not good at this, guys. We're not good at it, you know. Yeah, I'm going to get, I have more, you know, I have more. So I'm, we're definitely going to do it after the marathon. Kajani, stop complaining, man. All right, no. we're going to have to do more. We're not good at it. Like how we're good at the curriculum and the topics that we're doing. We're not so good at this. So we have to, um, yeah. Thanks, Machu. All right, at least this one is not so bad. Machu, you're marking on the screen. Remember, guys, do not mark on the screen because it's going to keep running down and mess up the work. This one is not so bad, guys. This one is not so bad. Sir, have you seen my answer in the chat? I'm going to check now, and then I'm going to make it explain. This one is straightforward, I think. Yes, sir. Yeah. Jovin, I got yours, Zemini's. Kayla, why am I not seeing a name? Ah, da, 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 da. Wait, what's that? All right, which, which Kayla? Kayla M. Kayla M. Oh. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And what did you say about my answer? I, I, I didn't hear. I don't, I don't see it in the chat. I'm wondering why oh. I'm not. I see Nika. I see Nela. Most persons got this one correct. They Chanel. I see Denny. So, so I'm going to send my own over. So I said my answer what? Up. Yeah, send it again, yeah. Kayla. Cause I'm not seeing it, and I'm up to twenty six. I'm not seeing it at all. Kayla. Okay, I send it to you again. It's directly in the chat. Okay, okay. All right. So that's C. Correct. A number of persons got this one correct. These so people say I'm not going to correct to Kayla. I'm so gonna see. Kayla, Kayla, it's not quite yes, correct. Right now. So I'll be to her. Remember what the question said. How many five hundred bills is in is um because remember it change out the number. Kesanya, I see yours. Kyle, I see yours. Jeremiah. What's up? Jeremiah, choose A. It's not A, no. Sorry, excuse me, sir. Yeah, man, go ahead. Did you see? Did you see my name? Yeah, man, I see all of them. I see Jevon, I see Tiana, Tiana Ford. Sir. Yeah, man, I see them guys, but that's not the main focus. London, I got yours. I didn't get my answer, sir. So what? I will tell you, tell you what. Sir, I'm sorry. I, I'm typing the wrong thing. Sorry, it's still is open. All right. Let's look at it, guys. So, oh, somebody has asked for you. Me, sir, Kayla. All right, Kayla go ahead. Tell us how you did it. Let us see. And then we okay, can sir. So, so how I did it, sir, I multiplied 150 yeah. by 40. Because 150 is how much money he saves. And that and 40 is, is how much weeks have been he's been saving for. When we when we multiply that, we will get six thousand dollars. And then what I did, I divided six thousand into five hundred. Then I got twelve dollars. Twelve dollar bills. Well, five hundred dollars. No, yeah. Twelve five hundred dollars. Yeah, it makes sense, guys. If you have just think about it practically, if you have six thousand Jamaican dollars. And home and it's only nanny. Like how we speak like that. It's only nanny. 
No 12 nanny make 6,000 dollars. That one is straightforward, you know, guys. It's straightforward. Person still got it incorrect. Guys, we have to we have to uh, get the it, it maybe sure, because what it, I did, sure. sure, what I did, I um I divided 500 by 40 and that gave you 12 and then I um divided 500 by 12 and I got 40. Sure, I changed my answer at the last day right before you even did it. And now I got the answer correct. Yeah, I know. But guys, what I want, I want you guys to take your time and do it, guys. I think we're rushing a bit. I want us to get in the habit of getting it correct the first time. Because remember, Mr. Benny cannot come to exams with you and say, boy, check that over. So what we want to do, we want to take our time and do it. All right? A number of persons got it correct, though. But I was surprised. Yeah, when that you don't you can check the answer. Yeah. 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 Correct. Yeah. Because yeah. if you multiply 500 by the 12, you will get 6,000. So. Yeah. What if it was $1,000? Suppose he, he had changed it in $1,000. How many $1,000 would Six. you have? Six. Six. Exactly. Six. Yeah. So you have because to 500 is a half of 1,000. Yeah. Where 500 is a half of a thousand and 12 yeah. and six and guys, and a you half could literally say six times five is just three thousand. If you multiply yeah. one to the two six, you could six say. times five hundred. So you could even use real money. Yeah, it's real money we're using. So the key, so half of 12 is six. Yeah. Six by two says you get twelve. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Well done, guys. Let me see, make sure I say I see this one. This one said, at a local food store, food market, forty bananas cost one hundred dollars. One pineapple cost thirty dollars. An apple costs $50. If you have to buy a fruit for 100 people and you are to only spend 1000 which selection below best represent what you will be buying? So I can't say those are the answers. Yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, I'm going to small it up. All right, so go ahead now. So remember, guys, you have a limit, which is $1,000. All you do is read it at least three times. That's what I'm doing to you know, to get the understanding. At a local food market, 40 bananas cost $100. One pineapple costs $30. And an apple costs $50. If you have to buy a food for 100 people, and you have to only spend one thousand. Okay, all right. What's up it to me? And I went to college. I tried the first time and I got the answer. Okay. Can I please explain after everyone's done? Yeah, man. After everyone is complete, I can. I sir, I got the answer, sir. All right. What's up, me? Let me see. And then... I, I, guys, I haven't worked it out as it, you know. So that, that is the beauty of it. We, we're doing it together. Sir, for A, how many apples are there? Ten. Sir, my hands are not the above, sir. The answer is none of the above. Yes, sir. All right, text me your answer that you think should be there. All right. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, I send you my answer in the chat. All right, I'm going to look at it right now. Guys, right, I soon check the WhatsApp them. also. I was just, thanks, Denise. Sir, 
Mark, Mark, can you, Mark, can you read out B and C for me, please? Can't really see it. B says 80 bananas plus 10 pineapples plus 10 apples. All right, so Tajani, I got yours, Kebane, Kayla, and Mia. I got all those, along with Denis, Amelia, Ian Wright. I notice everyone saying a particular letter. Denis also said the same letter. So everybody's saying that I hope it is correct. As I haven't done it in a guys. I haven't done it as yet. So everybody working it out. Sir? There's a problem. Sir, I don't believe you. Sir, there's a problem. What's the problem? Two of the two of the um two of the, two of the answers have the same amount. Eh? Two of the answers have the same amount. So you are saying that it could be any one of the two, or it could be a specific one. It could be any one of the two. I don't think so. I I I think it's only one answer. Basically. Sir, for C, what is what? How many apples are there? I can't see it. For B. C. All right. Twenty. Yeah, twenty apples. Fifty bananas. Thirty pineapples. And 20 apples. Guys, if you're not seeing, just turn your phone this land way, all right? All right, thanks. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna look at it. Somebody asks volunteer to explain. I soon give you the flow, all right? Okay, guys, sir. Guys, we're not gonna end. Thanks, Miss um, London, um, Natalia, Diana. <laughs> Then, thanks. Guys, we're not going to end at 12 here. So what I want, I, I, I'm going to give you guys a little break when you come back. Take some water, take a little break and come back. Take a break and Yeah. All right. So we're not rushing it. I feel that we, we, are, we have a little break, so we have to take the time. All right, German. Sir, yeah, man, I got all of them. I got, I'm not going to respond and say it's correct or not. Like what we normally do in regular class, but I'm observing them, all right? Matthew, I got yes, yours. Yeah. Lisa, I got yours. Karim, I got yours. Ian, right? Everybody, I got them. All right? So go ahead and explain now. Let me see what she says. Oh, she got it. So can you please zoom out of the screen a little bit, please? Zoom out or, or in. Like this? Or up. I can up. So as it says, it says to find the best representative that you will buy. There's two available answers that you could use for your answer. So if you can yeah, see that's 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 well, now, guys, do not interrupt her. Please, please. Just WhatsApp me, guys, all right? It's, it's kind of good when somebody's talking and then you just... All right? Go ahead. If you can see, we're going to start with A first, right? Mm -hmm. So 40 plus 20 plus 10 equals to 70. So 70 is out completely. Then we're going to move to D. 40 plus 15 plus 9, that is 64. So there's two answers there now. So we're going to go on to, we're going to go on to B, which is 80 plus 10 plus 10. That's 100, right? Mm -hmm. That's the one of the available answers. And our next one is, then C is 50 plus 30 plus 20 equals to 100. So can you please go up? Oh, I can see the question now. Thank you. It says, at a food market, 40 bananas cost $100, while a pineapple costs 30 and an apple costs $50. So I picked C because the C is, the C sounds more, 
Can say this is own or it's own. She fell off. Hold on. She fell off. You know, okay. Mm. Oh, she's on. Queen Lisa. Sir, sir, she fell off. Yeah, that's what I realized. Mm. But she was saying C. Do you guys agree that it's C? And why you agree and why you disagree? I think it's B. Why you think it's B? Explain. Sir, I think it's B. Explain why B. Sir, but C and B. All right, sir. Sir, okay. why did you call one? Because the 40 bananas cost 100. So 40, but 40 is 80. So, 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 that, so that would be 200. So 80 bananas is 200. So I put that down in my book, sir. Mm -hmm. Then after, I see 10 pineapples. One pineapple cost $30. I multiply, I multiply 30. I'm 30 and I got 300. So I put that down $300. Then after that, sir, 10 apples and apple got $50. So, so 50 plus 20, 50 plus 20, 50 plus 20, 50 times 10 is $500, sir. Then I'm going to add them up. What they got? So 500. So two hundred, two hundred dollars plus two hundred dollars plus five hundred dollars, one thousand dollars, sir. Very good. That was excellent, guys. All right, he's not even into grade six yet, but very good, guys. I don't want to have to add anything to that. Remember, now, guys, they give you a limit. So even though this is one hundred fruits, I agree with um Lisa. This is one hundred fruits. And this is 100 fruits. However, we have to consider the money. We have to consider the money. Oh, see, I'm let her in. Right, Lisa, it would be B. Jeremiah, explain. It would be B because we have a limit. The money is a factor. The $1,000, this is the only $1,000. So if we should work out for this, I'm sure this go over the, the 1000 20 apples is for basically 1,000 or so. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So where you get the rest of the money from? <laughs> are you, are you going to drop in the money? A thousand for your apple alone, you know, guys. You have to consider the money, all right? So be with that big, all right? Sir, it can also be busy. Okay, Adriana. It can also be D. D? Okay. All right, D. hold on. Me like, me like this, you know, guys. I like when you guys... I could talk about D. So it's 100 persons. Did you guys see that? So if we use D, I think that came up to 64, according to what Lisa said. So you got to tell me, say, 36 people now getting no food? You have to reason it out. Hmm? I got the same answer. I got B. Yeah. But it couldn't be D, guys, because guess what? If you use D, 36 persons will not get a fruit. You can imagine those children, they'll be devastated. Everybody gets a fruit, and 36 people don't get. So I think. May I take a fruit quick, sir? Yes, you say. Yeah, man, go ahead. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I fell off my internet one thousand dollars. Yeah, I'm man, I know, I know. It's not your fault. It's fine. But we, we, Jeremiah explained that it would have been B because let me just explain what he said. He said that he knows that forty bananas cost a hundred dollars, so eighty bananas would cost two hundred. And he said since pineapple, one pineapple costs thirty and it's ten, he multiplied thirty by ten to give him three hundred. And one apple costs $50. So if you have 10 apples, it will be 10 times the, the 50, which give him $500. And he added it up to give a 1,000. So we are saying that it could not be C because 
Queen Lisa would have to take some of your money to add it up because the apples alone would cost a thousand dollars plus the pineapple, 30 pineapple that have fit nine hundred dollars plus the fifty bananas that a hundred dollars plus a quarter. You understand, guys? Twenty one hundred twenty-five dollars. So guys, and then somebody went on to say D would be the answer. I'm thinking this person probably do the money alone. So you spend half the money, but you don't get enough fruits. So guys, it's more than one way to look at it. Think of it practical. Think of it you're sharing for 100 students. So I like what Lisa did. She went and she said, cross off them here because them here make yeah. sense because it don't add up to 100. Yeah, man, go ahead. Sir, I did process, I did process of elimination. Yeah, yeah. But you, for C, you said it would have been C because 100 fruits. It couldn't be C because you don't have enough money. All right? I can't say. Yeah. But Jeremiah, explain it. All right. This one now, guys. I know you guys do your science and so. The diagram below shows items that are submerged in a glass of water. Use this information to answer item 29. Which glass above contains the most water? And tell your reason for your answer. So uh, I, my answer sir. I think we can freestyle this one. So each person yes, can just uh, tell me. Call your name and tell me what you think is the answer. Sir, I got this glass B. Excuse me. Sir, I got the glass D. Sir, I got glass D. B yeah. as in but? Sir, B as in the dog. D, all right. Sir, D as in the Guys, I'm going to agree with D. This is our what's the reason behind D. Guys, one at a time, one at a time. Remember, call me. I think, I think everybody. Yeah. Ian, you go ahead. What do you say? What's the reason behind it? That is it, guys. And you can think of that practically, right? If you have a stone, which is heavy and big, and you put it in, in a cup, it will make the water rise. But if you sure. use the light... The pit as the list, as the yeah. light. Yeah, that is true. So, it's, so guys, this the, the water would probably wouldn't even move at all for the for the for the pin one. The others, the water probably the ears of this. And when you put the crayon, it go up. All the apple, it probably are ears to the water there, you know. But when you drop that the big heavy apple, you just push it up. Who saw the thing on TikTok where the crow wanted to get some water out of a bottle? And the crow put the stone. Me, in. Sir. Yeah. And each time he drop a stone yes, in it, he tests it. Yeah. I want, I want he it. Like yeah. <laughs> he tests it where the water reaches. And he keep throwing stone until the water come right up. And that was a bird. So it's the same principle. The, the more so weight the and bigger things in there, the water will rise up. But that's right. to show that animals are smarter than birds. Yeah, that's to show that animals are smarter than we think. Yeah, that is it. That is it. So I did that question at schools. I know how. I knew how to approach it and how I got my answer. Okay, very good, very good. I will do them something here in science class. I think, right? All right, let's look at this one. Yeah. A flower shop sells two types of floral arrangement in U.S. dollars. Shown below, use this information to answer item 30. It says each rose has the same price. 
Weedy tag again in a guys. A flower shop sells two types of floral arrangement in US dollars shown below. Use this information to answer item 30. And it said each rose has the same price. So this is very significant. And each daisy has the same price. Which statement below would be true about the price for a rose? So look at it and tell me what you think. I'm gonna small it up so you guys can see everything. Okay, to put it further. Don't think that is uh, the editing gun. What are the guys? So ensure you read everything. All right, a floor shop sell two types of arrangement in US dollars. Use this information to answer 30. And you say each rose has the same price and each daisy has the same price. Which statement below would be true about the price for a rose? And of course, they give you the key here, so. You see, guys, this is the rose. And this is the daisy. Sir D. The price of a rose cannot be determined from the information given. So I agree with D. Why? <laughs> Explain. Sir, so sure, um, I go with C. I think Sir, if one rose costs one dollar, sir, and the daisies couldn't cost one dollar either. Oh, because of the five, yeah, they are things they couldn't add up to the five. Yeah. Sir, um, excuse me, sir, let me explain. But the daisies is two dollars and the roses are one dollar. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, explain. See, you know, let me. I'm very interested to hear that. I'm um, sure. So, um, you just find out what, like, what and what give you five. So, sir, you can say the daisies are one dollars each. So, you have three daisies there. I can say the rose is two dollars each. You can say three plus two is five. And then the <laughs> second one, no, sir. Sir, so, so there's three, day, three roses. Two, four, six, and three days is one, two, three. Six plus three is nine. I'm going to agree with that. Yes, sir, that's how I got my answer. Yeah, because this is the sir? rule. Right? Hmm? Hmm? I, I'm going to have to agree with him. Right, look, look at it, guys. They give you the key, right? You have one rose and three daisies. And that comes to five dollars. So you can you can check yeah, you can test the theory with it now you know. One dollar for this, one dollar for this. Don't put the money for it. One dollar for this, one dollar for this, one dollar for this. And to get the five, that means this should have been two dollars. So we can test the theory now. Two dollars, four, six, because are two dollars each. And then one, two, three. I'm going to agree with that. The price of the rose is twice the price of the daisy. So, guys, yes, you, see, you, have to, you have to test it first, you know. Don't just look at it and say, I decide. Test it for both of them. When you see they give you two things, don't just test for one. I think persons are just testing for one. Because someone was saying there's no way they could have got the five dollars, got the five dollars. But it's more than one way to look at it, all right? So look at it, do trial and error, examine it, reason it out, guys, reason it out. Sir, I understand how you got the answer. It's not me got the answer, you know, it's a, it's a student explain it. I just put it on there, but he explained it very good. So yeah, I agree. But that wasn't my solution, that was his. But I totally agree with it. So the three rows would cost $6, and because of $1, 
for the daisy, it would have been one three dollars total, and then six plus three would give it the nine dollars. And see, the, the five dollar one is cheaper. Shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't get well soon. Be, be the more expensive one, guys. More than I love you. Because <laughs> you want the person to get well. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Good job, though. Good job. Guys, don't rush it. Remember, we said we're going to extend the time because I want you guys to see the reasoning behind it. I don't want you to just memorize answers but the reasoning that is the most important part all right let's look at 31 let me pick it up back we are going beyond 12 o'clock but, but 12 i'm gonna give you guys a break here so you can just you know get some snack get some water and sure and just... then we're gonna come back yeah we're gonna Yay! extend it, guys. Yeah, we're gonna extend it. So, I did so, I did so. make provision to, for us to go up to one o'clock if necessary. All right, Yay! because I was saying that if we're not so versatile, we'll just extend it to the time. Sure, let's go. Hi, mom. Sir? Hi, afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, good morning. This problem we about the days, Jeremiah don't understand it. I, I don't know, but I think he might have issues when it comes to like reasoning the maths. Yeah, like yeah. The Every, everyone, it's not him alone, mom. That's, that's the hardest part. Alone. But he doesn't understand the maths, and then guess what happened? Because he always do stuff and get them right and feel embarrassed. To say, no, man, okay, there's nothing sir, to be embarrassed about. You hear? If you don't understand, you need to tell him. Yeah, man, there's nothing to feel right. embarrassed about. My career is not out again, guys. All right, so a student actually no. gave a solution. But we could look at it from scratch. First, you have to look at the items that are there, right? Each item that are there. So basically, just consider somebody selling something. They said that each daisy costs the same price. So like, for example, whatever, whatever this one costs, this one costs the same thing. The size doesn't matter. Each daisy costs the same amount of money. So if one costs five dollar, all cost five dollar. That's what they meant when they say each item costs the same thing. Same thing with the rows. Each rows costs the same amount of money. So this is the first case. They say I get well soon, but book here or whatever you call it. To, to the person, right? And it's a get well soon. So we want to know how much each daisy cost if three daisy and one rose cost five dollars. Also, we want to know if you have four rows, three rows. So you have to count how many rows are there. So you have one, two, three rows, and three daisy, and that costs nine dollars. So we want to find out what could be the cost of each. Right? So let us look at it in a practical sense. The fact that you have four items and it only costs $5 for the four items, we know that only at least one of the items can cost $2. Because look at it, guys. Let us say we want to say $2 for each one of them. It would have been $8 for the, for the, for the something, whatever you call them, something. Yeah. So we know, say, one or two dollars, and one is one dollar. Because both of them could not be one dollar either. Because, say, this was one dollar, this was one dollar, this was one dollar, this was one dollar. It would only cost four dollars. Agree? That's how you have to yes, look at sir. it. Yeah, because you have three yes, items. Sir. Yeah, you have to look at it practically and say, reason it out. All right, so we have three items. So we know, say, this could not cost $2 because you have three of them. Three of them would cost $6 if I did $2 for one. So we can narrow it down and say one of these is for $1. So it would be three times one for this one, right? So if three of these cost $3, one has to cost how many? How many more do we need to make $5? 
You see? That's how we have to reason it out. So one cost yeah. dollar, dollar, that's three dollar. So that means this must cost two dollar in order for it to make five dollars. But guess what? Okay. We'll have to test the theory over here if, if it makes sense, you know. If this rows here costs two dollars, it means each one of these rows costs two dollars. So this one is for two dollars, this one is for two dollars, and this one is for two dollars. So in total, what would the three rows cost? If one is for two dollars, how much would three of the rows cost? Six, sir. Six, Six. because you multiply three times two. All right, so at $6, and we say that over here, it costs $1. So it's $1, $1, and $1, which is three. And six and three make nine. So we can say that the rows is twice as much, cost twice as much as the daisy, because $2 is twice $1, right? It doubles. it. So that's all we get that. We'll be clear in our German. But these are some nice questions. I was going through them in a guys, and I saw some past papers, and I said I wanted to do this one also, apart from the past papers, because I really like this one. It's clear in our German. Sure. And guys, if you're not sure of something, you can just ask. You know, I saw the class here still. You know, if I say, boy, sir, I got to say, oh, me no know that. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to ever think that. Sir, excuse me, sir. Yeah, man, sir, go ahead, Juvain. Hey, Juvain. Sir, it's Amelia Bell, sir. Oh, Amelia, okay. I saw Juvain's name, sorry. Yeah, man, go ahead, Amelia. How did I get the nine, sir? Is that, um... Three times three, three times three is nine, sir. But what costs three dollars? Sir. Because if, if I said three, three is nine, that means, say for example, you said the rose is three dollars. So you are saying that the days you'll be free. As I said, only we could get nine. You see that, guys? And it wouldn't, this one would not um, agree with it because if we say that this is three dollars, it wouldn't cost five dollars. And the next thing that I want you guys to do, guys, you see, like um, for the performance tasks and so, whenever your teacher keep in class party, ask them, say, Mr. Benny, say, you must be a part of the process. So, the money where you collect, how much each person pay, or if you're going on a class trip, please tell them, say, Mr. Benny, say they must include it with every single thing. Because sometimes the performance tasks come like that. You can, they can say you're planning a trip, each person going to pay one, five. Entry fee is this, is this practical thing. All right? So tell them, say, Mr. Benny, say, please include it in the planning process. I make you know everything. But you guys mustn't tell anybody, you know, just for your purpose. All right? Yes, sir. Yeah, because that's how the performance yes, sir. comes from. So if I had a class and we're baking a cake, and, and the parents too, if they're baking a cake, like our Christmas, they must make you read the recipe to them and, and, and take part in it. Even if you're not mix it up or whatever, but how much flour, versus how much salt, all of that. Because sometimes they give the performance stars like that, a real practical something, and you don't want to be stranded. All right? So we have to spend less time on the yes. tablet and, and get involved. But if you guys look at the performance stars on my playlist on YouTube, you will see, you know, guys, over, over 15 videos, you, you would see it. All right? So, Jeremiah, I hope you're clear on that now. And guys, don't be afraid to um, ask. You guys used to me. I think I've about only four new persons on. Jeremiah, Jeremiah is not new. She's just coming back. So, guys, don't be afraid, man. You know, Mr. Benita, them type of teacher. Yeah. 
for you can ask questions. Yes, sir. You can ask any question anytime. All right. Can I explain this one? Yeah, man, go ahead. You want to explain this one? Yes, sir. All right. Give them a chance first, though. Yes. So 31, guys. The sum of all the ages of four family members is 85. What will be the sum of the ages together in five years? This is a very nice question. Yes, sir. Yeah. Kind of tricky here. This one is kind of tricky. Yeah, it can be tricky. Actually, you can um multiply 85 times 5 and see. That, that's what you would do? Yes, sir. Why? Sorry, if you did your answer a little bit far yes, from um, the option. All right, yeah. I know my but guys, it couldn't be it couldn't be sir. five times eighty-five. Sir, sir because if it's if you do that, sir, then your your answer will be far from all the options. Exactly, yeah. it will be a crazy number. If it, 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 it will be four hundred and twenty-five. Yeah, and that wouldn't be correct. Yeah, far no, uh, they did not say each person is eighty-five. Even if it was 85, that would still be all. This yes, is what sir. you say. The sum of all the ages. What's some mean? Oh, it's it kind of easy now, sir. All right. sure. Add. That is why you have to reason it out, guys. Read it at least three times. Get the understanding before attempting the question. Right, a, sir. A, answer, sir. A. All right. Yes, sir. Who agreed that is A? Me, sir. Me, sir. So I have to work it out first. Yeah, work it out first. Me, sir. Me, sir. What you say, Kayla? Sir, I just sent you mine on WhatsApp. All right, all right. Thanks. Yes, sir. I got, I got. Yes, sir. Cassania. I agree. Sir, Kayla says A. I get Cassania. Um, I get Mia. I get mm -hmm. London. Mm -hmm. So there's someone in the meeting that has the same name as you. Yeah, I think that's my son. Oh. Yeah. Nice. So I got my answer, sir. I'm sending it in the chat directly to All you, right. sir. We can speak freely, do you know, guys? Everybody is saying A. Yes, sir. I would agree with A. Sir, I said my team in the chat. Is there anybody that disagree that it's not A? No, no sir. sir. No, sir. No, sir. Me. No, sir. Not me. Sir, I agree with A. Sir, I don't know. I don't know. I agree with A. I disagree. All right. Why you disagree? Who, is, who disagree? Abby? Is Abby that? Sir. Me. Explain why you disagree, Abby. Mm -hmm. Because four numbers that add up to um eighty five are forty, fifteen. Oh wait, you go practical, right? Wait, wait, guys, go ahead. Forty, fifteen, fourteen, and sixteen. All right. So that give you 85, 6 and 4, 10, and that 15. So 5, oh, excuse 1, me, sir. 5, sir, 6. There's supposed to, sir, hmm? there's supposed to be two number, two large numbers, sir, not one. But what, what number? Not sure, sir. All right, continue, Abby, continue. And then if we had, if we add 5 to 40, we get 45. If we add 5 to 15, we get 20. If we add 5 to 14, we get 19. And if we add 5 to 16, we get 21. And all of those added together equals to 105. Yeah, it is. Guys, let me tell you what person did not take into consideration. Each year, the person is getting older. So if you are, say you guys are probably nine now, in five years time, you'll be 14. If you are 10, you're going to be 15. Yes. 
So not only one person age going up, all four going up. But guys, this is a topic that I will teach you differently though. I, um, this is on my list to teach you guys, all right? And to create expressions and stuff. But very good, Abby. But guys, I know Sorry, what can I ex Because they were saying if it was one here, then that of, the sum would have been nine. Because it's five years. Ex oh, it's four family members. No, it's still, it'll be 89. I have four family members. Yeah, man, go ahead. Sir, can I explain how I got my answer, sir? The 90? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead. Sir, so as you know that it says the sum of all the ages of four family members is 85. And it said, um, what will it be their ages together in five years? So what would you do, sir, is that you add 85 plus 5 because it says the sum and sum mean addition. So 85 plus 9 plus 5, sir, will give you 90, sir. Yeah. But guess what? It's not only one person, you know. It's four persons. So technically, in five years' time, all of them will increase by five. So it's a total of 20 years going to add on to, to, to the total. So you add the 85. See, John, you're writing on the screen. So it will be 85 plus the 20, which gives us the 105. All right, but I know why you guys be thinking this, but it's actually two hundred and five. Sir, can I show you a different yeah. way? Answer. You got what I got for your answer. So I got D. D. Take it the pressure to rub that mark off the screen, please. Pigeon, and um, I think it's much too circle. Don't don't mark the screen, guys, because when you guys do it, it don't come out. And it blocked in the writing. All right. So Tejan and Machu. Sure, can I show you a way to get that answer? All right, Tiana, show us how you got it. So, sir, what I added was 15, 45, 25, and 10. And when I added it, I got 85. Then oh, all right. It's the same method, but you use different numbers, right? Yes, sir. So 25, 15, what else? 25, 15, 35, and 10. All right. I like what you guys are thinking. Sure, so that is, it doesn't that matter is the ages, you know, guys. As long as four numbers. Sure, that's, that's how I was trying to tell you, sir. There's supposed okay. to be two big numbers. No, no one. It, 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 all right, what are the guys? It. Stick up in. What are the guys? Matthew is saying some numbers should be big. Guys, to be honest... As long as the four numbers add up to 85, it doesn't matter because they did not give us a specific um, information like one is five years older than this one. They just said if sum. So once the four numbers add up to, we could have also um, do this and it would have been correct. Sir, so, sir, so what a different method, sir. Can I tell you how I got it? 81, 84. This could have worked, you know, guys. No, it's a 86. So I'll probably make this be two. As long as it comes to 85, it's fine because they, they did not give us a condition to say, oh, one must be 10 years older, one must be five years younger, which we will, I will show you guys how to do that. Um, I think after ratio, I will do that with you guys. Leading expressions sure. and then leading up to equations. So that is a part of our syllabus. Sure, so then when that yeah. So, so Machu, yeah, so Machu, the numbers does not really matter. All these numbers, as long as it adds to 85, it would have been correct. And then you would add five to each year. So, yeah, it doesn't sure. matter, man. Sure, but I understand sure. what you're saying. That's how you did it. That's why you're saying it should be like that. But this one, sure. this one never add up to 85, though. Oh, yeah, 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 it did, it did. 25 and that's 40, 45, yeah, it did. Yeah, man, 
It's the same method basically, but different numbers. Tijan, you have a rub off the blue thing. Sir. Hmm? I used a different method. All right, what you did? Sir, so I wrote down the 85 mm. and did that. I added five, I wrote down four fives and I added four fives to the 85. Oh, so you just added 20. Yeah, man, that's correct also. Because in five years' time, each person going to be five years older. Unless you have your arm, like Brianna, that born on the leap here. Brianna is not in this class right now, you know. I'm um, sure. Hmm? Sir. Yeah, man, go ahead. Yeah. The one that we're about to do now is kind of tricky. Oh, yeah, you really they, just add, they just add one to the numbers on the left. Oh, oh. I, I haven't read it as yet. Guys, I haven't been through these papers yet, you know, to be totally honest with you. I just said we're going to do it together. But I glanced over it, but I didn't sit and work it or anything. But I saw the questions and I saw the critical thinking in it. And I said, you know, Apart from the past papers, I like how it's set up. It, it's very close to the past papers. But I have the past papers, so we're going to go through the past papers too. All right? So 2020, 2020, 2021, and what? 2020. It's not all of them because some of the years, um, I think COVID. So there, I think there's only three of them. So we're going to complete all three though. All right? All right, so somebody said 32 is tricky. Let's see, guys. Oh, oh Tijan, welcome back. Rub off that um, routine, please. 